barrel. State your name and your reason for being in town. Can't see where it's any business of yours. Name's Yuma, Johnny Yuma. I might get a few days' work here, I might shove on. You know anybody in town? No. You're under arrest for vagrancy. You just made up my mind for me, I'm shoving on. <laughs> Was in the land of cotton. That's where Rev was missed, forgotten. Look away, look away. <laughs> you win. I'm a devout coward. I couldn't fight my way out of a Sunday school. <laughs> we Yankees save ourselves for the big fighting. I've got a distorted sense of humor. You'll get used to it. We're going to be in this mess together. So let's try to get along. Let's begin by sharing the bunk. What are you in for? Same as you, vagrancy. It's a phony deal. Goes on all over the country. Been a lot of places, but I never got hit with this before. <laughs> well, now what? Work gang, boy. Free prison labor. The sheriff pockets the money he saves on wages. When they pick up the young and healthy vagrants, you can be sure you can smell that a mile away. And I'd get me to work. be getting soft. I never figured you for giving me six months. No talking. That'll teach me to underestimate the innate goodness of man. Oh, one of those, huh? <laughs> Start chopping. You heard him. Grab an axe. All right. You two. In a pig's eye. Throw him in the wagon.
Well, Reb, you finally found a home. Well, what's this? Dear Diary? Something like that. Oh, great. We work our tails off and he writes about it. I once kept one of those things. I made the mistake of reading it back. I got so depressed I wanted to cut my throat. It was rough, huh? My beautiful past. Oh, you mean the wood chopping? Oh, that was great fun. The sheriff is nothing but laughs. Yeah, the animal with the whip is quite a comedian, too. All right. Hey, pay attention. The new prisoner, Johnny Yuma, didn't work today. As you old timers know, violation by one means punishment for all. There'll be no supper tonight. Any questions? Just one, Sheriff. How do we get out of here? Escape is impossible. Any attempt will result in every man having his sentence doubled. You hear any plans, I uh, suggest you inform Mr. Farrell and myself. went out. I'm telling you all right now, I'm busting out of here. All hail the noble Caesar. You afraid? Yes. I'll try and make it without you. It ain't possible, Yuma. I've been here five months, and it ain't possible. Anyone ever tried? I get out next month. I don't want to see no one try. Amen. You best not think about it. Yeah, you see, this is what they want. They're running you on fear, divide and conquer. We can't give in without a fight. I can, very easily. You wouldn't get two miles without horses and supplies, Yuma. You'd get killed, and we'd all get six months extra. So don't try it. All right. Then make the break with me. We'll all bust out of here together. You'll tell us before you make your move? Yeah, I'll send you all engraved invites. You want to come? Good. You don't? It's your funeral. Or yours. some water. You got an answer for this one? Obviously, some upstanding member of the town is headed this way. Well, as I live and breathe, a man of the cloth. One opens his mouth, he'll wish he was dead. I wouldn't go any closer, Reverend. It's a dangerous bunch. I heard there were some new ones. They look awfully young. I'd like to talk to them. That'd be a waste of time. None of them are churchgoers. My duty's clear, Sheriff. I want to invite them to services. Uh, Reverend. Hold it. Get us all in trouble. 
I think the town would rather have them working than singing hymns. The more they work, the sooner the folks will get their water supply. Well, thank you. As I said, Reverend, I don't think any of these men are interested in going to church. The sheriff has given his permission to any of you men that would like to attend church service tomorrow morning to do so. Some of you men I've invited before. Others I'm looking at for the first time. Regardless of your crimes, the house of God is always open to you. I urge each and every one of you to come. Are you afraid to talk? You got your answer, Reverend. The men don't want to go. I'd like to go. I would, too. Me, too. Thank you, men. I'll see you all in church tomorrow. You must write. If we stick together, they can't do nothing about it. See the sheriff's face? <laughs> Church, we bust loose, taken by storm. Half of us jump the sheriff, the other half Farrell. We grab the horses, tethered outside, and before they know what hit them, we'll be out of town, all of us. What do you say? It might work. I'm against it. One of us is bound to get shot. I know it'd be me. It's got to be all or none. Here comes the sheriff, fellas. Make up your minds. Count me in. Set. Charlie. Well, I guess I got no choice. What about you, Woody? What can I say, Rev? All agreed? Yeah. All right. All right, get to work. All of you. You'll get to church all right. On stretchers. What are you waiting for? Planning a break. All right, I want a volunteer. I want a volunteer. Good luck. Don't look at me happy. All right, loudmouth. You. Sheriff's got a job he wants you to do over behind the wagon. All right, you bombs, get back to work. Get back to work. I get so lucky. I'd sell out for nothing, did you? I wouldn't even turn in my worst enemy for nothing. What's your deal? Well, I'd like to leave your establishment. I'd like a horse and supplies. And above all, Colonel, I'd like secrecy. It might not be very healthy for me if, say, Yuma found out about this. Are they gonna break from church? Uh, 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 you're guessing. I know. Do we have a deal or don't we? I've been handling men a long time, Woods. I'm sure I can manage without your help. Well, I was thinking of the advantage to you of a controlled break. Let's be brutally frank. What if the town finds out that you're selling half of the lumber we cut here and pocketing the money? Does that worry you? Go on. Now. Do you want to know the exact time and place of the break? Or don't you? You double-crossed the men. Why wouldn't you do the same to me? Well, I wouldn't gain anything by double-crossing you. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. Give me the details.
What would they do without us, Reb? Your brains and my knife. All right. This is the church. Their plan depends upon the horses outside here at the hitching rail so they can see them as they come into the church. Now, after the prisoners are all inside, you fall back and move those horses to the stable. Yeah. Then do you want me to stay with the horses? No, no. I have two armed guards posted at the stable. They'll handle the action there. We'll teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. Now, we'll move the buckboard around to the side of the wagon. And you understand, I want them to break from the church. Right. Now, we'll give them a little encouragement. Uh, don't wear your gun and allow yourself to be jumped. Mm. <laughs> the sheriff. We'll only get one chance. The second they start singing, we move. No, that's too soon. After the singing. People might be late. There won't be enough horses out front. All right, after the singing. One second after. over there. Come on, come on. Yuma, line up with the others. You, get inside. Come on! I left a horse down at the shack. I'll leave the door unlocked. They leave right after the singing. Will there be any shooting? Well, I have to make it look good. And I have a special score to settle with that Reb. Don't tell me you're getting a conscience. Joke. All right, over to the wagon, single file. My sermon this morning is taken from the sixth verse of the 53rd chapter of Isaiah. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one in his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Yes, the first part of my text is an indictment. All of us have strayed from the fold. Someone will say, can't we drop the first word, all? And I will rise and say, there is a man who is a blasphemer because he is astray. And yonder is a man who is impure and he is astray. And yonder is a man who is fraudulent. Something's wrong. I think it's a fix. Look home, my brethren. He but saw Woody's knife. Why didn't he search us? Me, as well as the rest. All we it's been bothering me. The key turned the wrong way. Let us all join in singing the first two verses of hymn 290. 
What he crossed us. He informed. He always said he only cared about himself. It breaks off past the word. It's too late. We're gonna break. Folks, I don't know anybody get hurt. We're not criminals. Our only crime was trying to pass through this rotten town. Son, remember where you are. We were arrested, used as slave labor. an ambush for us out there. Ask him what he does with the lumber we cut. Give us a hearing. Let him deny that he's been robbing this town blind. Ask him who he sells the lumber to and what he does with the money. That's enough. Let him deny that he was paid off by the lumber company. He's lying. The boy's a criminal. Yuma told you straight. Listen to him. They're liars, all of them, liars. I think we should hold a meeting to determine that right now. Amen. back wages and offered a fair price to go ahead with the water project. It's up to you. You stay in Yuma? Yeah, I'll work on it for a while. Then we're all in. All or none. Can I borrow a horse? Surely. Take mine. Thanks. <laughs> Sheriff, you keep yours. Hurry up! Get me out of here before they come back and tear me to pieces! Hurry up! <laughs> Joke. I knew that was you, Reb. Hey, you turned the key the wrong way, kid. Joke. Pushed enough the rebel. Johnny, you more. Johnny, you 